This mala chicken or mala ji is a spicy and aromatic stir fry filled with dried chilies, Sichuan peppercorn, a wonderful dish to add to your Chinese cooking repertoire. Hi everyone, welcome back to Flavor Fridays. My name is Emma, and today I'll be cooking a crowd favorite mala chicken or mala ji. So it's a stir fried chicken with lots of different types of chilies and peppercorns. Really delicious, very easy to make actually. So the first thing I need to do is marinate my chicken. This is just some skinless bone off chicken. Um, if you buy skin on and bone in, just debone, de-skin. All I'm going to do is slice it into big cubes and big chunks. Not too small because I do want to taste the chicken in, um, in every bite. Now I'm going to slice up some fresh ingredients, some which are going into the marinade and some which are going into the stir fry. So for the marinade, I'm going to add some thick um, chunks of spring onion. You don't want it too small, otherwise you'll have to pick it out before you cook it. And then with the ginger, thick slices again. You want the flavor of ginger, but you don't need to cook it from this marinade. I'll chop up the rest of my wok clock as well. So in the rest of my wok clock, I've got a few cloves of garlic. I'm going to leave my garlic in quite big chunks because when I, fi I find that when you chop garlic too small and add it into a stir fry, it tends to burn very, very quickly. And you want the flavor of garlic, but you don't actually need to bite into it. So just peeled and lightly crushed. With this ginger, again, just there for a flavor, you're not biting into it, so you don't even need to peel it. Nice, big, thick slices. With the spring onion, that's just going to be a garnish. So nice, thin, diagonal rings. And then, of course, some finely sliced chilies. So in the end, for your wok clock, I've got some aromatics on one side, so my garlic and my ginger, and then on the other side, just some chili and spring onion to garnish. Going into our dish are also two more ingredients. I've also got some dried whole chilies. Now, dried chilies come in many different varieties. These are the most basic large dried chilies that you can just buy from the Asian supermarket. They really aren't that spicy. They're more earthy and smoky. So they add flavor of chili to your dish without the actual spice. If you really don't like spice, then you can split them in half lengthwise and take out the seeds just in case, but I like to keep them just whole like this. In addition to the dry chilies, one more ingredient is of course some Sichuan peppercorns. Now you really don't need very much, just around a teaspoon. Sichuan peppercorn is an ingredient that almost gives your tongue a tingling feeling. That's why it's called ma la. So just a small teaspoon goes into the dish, not too much. And then just slightly crush it with my cleaver, just to pop open those peppercorns. Now let's move on to the chicken marinade. For this marinade, again, a very classic Chinese marinade, I've got a little bit of sesame oil, just a bit. I've got some Chinese Shaoxing wine. This is a classic Chinese cooking wine, not for drinking, mainly just for cooking. And then a little bit of soy sauce as a salt. And then a small pinch of sugar to balance out the soy and a little bit of white pepper as well. Give that all a nice mix and then set it aside to marinate for a minimum half an hour and you can even do several hours or even up to overnight. My secret ingredient for really luscious, juicy and smooth chicken is to add a small pinch of cornstarch. It's a very um, common ingredient to add into a Chinese marinade. It just helps with the texture of the chicken and then give it a good mix. So now that we have prepped our wok clock and we've marinated our chicken, we're ready to cook. So this dish really comes together very quickly and it is about technique with your wok cooking. So wok onto the highest heat. I'm going to add my 
dried chilies first, just to toast them off and start releasing those aromas. In a dry wok, no oil. So you don't want to burn your chilies, you just want them to get nice and toasted. It's really nice to do that with any type of dried ingredient, it really wakes them up. So we've got a little bit of color on them, just a little bit, not burnt. And then I'll pop it back into the bowl. Now we can start cooking. So I'm going to add oil all around the sides of my wok and I'm going to add my aromatics. That's my ginger and my garlic. So when this dish is finally served, you pick around the ginger and the garlic, you don't actually bite into it. This only takes a few moments, you just want to smell all of those aromatics. And then you can push it to the back and add your chicken. Now I've just pushed the marinade ingredients, the ginger and the spring onions to the side because I'm not gonna add that into the dish. So what I've done is I flipped that garlic and ginger on top of the chicken so that it doesn't continue to cook. What I'm looking for now is a nice sear on the bottom of my chicken and then I'll flip it and sear the other side. I'm pressing down with the back of my ladle so that my chicken has a really nice firm press against the heat of the wok. What I'm looking for is my chicken to be around 85, 90% cooked because once I add the rest of my ingredients for the sauce into the wok, it's only gonna take another maybe 30 seconds a minute for the dish to come together. My chicken is looking around 85% cooked. I'm going to add in my chilies. The Sichuan peppercorns. Some Shaoxing wine. A bit of light soy. A bit of sesame oil. A bit of dark soy sauce. Small pinch of sugar. My sauce has come up to a boil and gone really nice and sticky. I've now killed the heat and I can plate up and garnish my dish. I'm going to garnish it with some toasted sesame seeds and then some finely sliced chilies and spring onion. And there you have your mala ji or mala chicken. Now all there's left to do is to taste this mala ji. Okay, so remember you don't eat the garlic or the ginger unless you really want to and you don't eat the dried chilies either. Mmm! It's delicious, aromatic, um, slightly sweet stir-fried chicken. What's not to love? Thank you very much, Lon, for suggesting this recipe. And if there are other recipes that you would like to see me cook, please leave a comment below. We always read through your suggestions. And I'll see you next time on Flavor Fridays.